M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. If you've just purchased a Radtail 860 or an iRadio UV88, you can see the radio on the left there. This is the software and I will put a link in the description for you to use. So I haven't got the radio yet, but as soon as I do, I will be reading and writing and programming. But I'm going to show you. So first of all, we've got the power on page here. You can change the logo by the looks of it. Now it's a black and white style radio. Config one is all your basic settings. So we'll read a couple of them here. We've got backlight, display timer, bright, brightness, um, zone of area B, and you can choose what, when it turns on, you can choose what it displays and what with this particular radio, it's an analog radio, very similar to the RT 4D, which is also DMR, but there, and on that particular software, there are more tabs for talk groups and contacts and zones ETC. But with this one, it's an analog radio. So it's like a simplified version of the RT4D. OK, so you've got your configurations one or two, which is basically settings. OK, and then you've got your your buttons that you can program. You can choose all these settings. We've got monitor, power sit, switch, dual standby, backlight on and off, CT, CSS, all that kind of stuff, shortcuts for it. And even says GPS there because there is a GPS model as well as a non GPS with the UV 88 by iRadio. The Radtail 860 is in the post. And I'm curious to know if it has got GPS. So that's basically setting the buttons, but also each key, each of your keys, one to nine or zero to nine, you hold them, long press them, and they will give you a function. So that means you've got like 15 function keys, which are very handy. Adding a channel, nice and easy. Look, so if we just go 145.600, that's GB3WR. And on the transmit, we want CTCSS. So we're going to go, that one is 94.8. And, and the, the let's have a look now. The transmit frequency is different. So we're going to just quickly change that to a one CTCSS. And then we can give it a name. Where's the name go? Channel alias here. We'll go GB3WR. Okay, and that's it. Remember this radio, it covers bands going from literally like, of oh, it's like even pretty sure it would do the CB, the HF bands, VHF, UHF. So it's, it's it covers so many and it's not an expensive device. This one is analog. The RT4D is DMR as well and airband. So that's worth thinking about. Read and write here. You can select your port when you've got the radio. Like so. You can create zones if you want, look, just like DMR. So it's it ticks a bit like a DMR radio uh, where you put, you know, channels into buckets, let's call it groups of channels. And so you've got your, you know, you choose the zone. There's all the channels you can choose from and then you can add it into that zone. Add when you change zone, it's a new bucket, a new group of channels and you can add channels into that. So you could have one zone called um, repeaters like so you can have another zone called PMR and another one I'm going to put airband because I'm going to try I'm going to be cheeky and put airband so let's just go back to channel see if it even accepts airband 133.850 it's gone in there so maybe we can uh, fingers crossed that it does do airband and uh, so we go back to the zones and if we go to airband and then that channel that we just created, we should have named it. We can add it into our airband zone. So we go back to the channel and give it a name. We'll call it Bristol Airport. Okay, let's do another one. PMR 446. I'm just going to do zeros for now. And you could do CTCSS and we'll call it PMR just so you can see. PMR. Okay, back to zones. And so if we name no, there it is there. So PMR and then well, we didn't name it, did we? Channel three. Let's go back. Sorry, I'm rushing here. PMR. It's just my fault for rushing. Sorry about that. Uh, zones PMR. So we go to the PMR zone, click the PMR. And we add it into our zone. Look, it's in there. If we go to airband, we've got Bristol Airport. We've got repeaters. See the way it works. And look, you could even put in your favorite radio. Yeah, like so. Wow, look at that. And this is where 
look at this so you've got the hf bands 2.6 uh 2.3 to 26 megahertz 520 to 1710 um oh i'm interested with the whole demodulation thing let's choose one oh look at that it's actually showing lsb usb yeah well it will do wouldn't it because the, this model has got am lsb usb cw let's go back to channels and uh, look at so with the mode i'm not really seeing a mode ah oh, there it is there Ta -da! there it is there so it looks like it's only saying the word ssb so possibly when we go into that section into the where was it this section fm radio channel so that of course it's receive it's not transmit so in receive you can set all these receive frequencies and you can choose if you want upper side band lower side band and cw dtmf time extend gps enable if you've got that one there's your board rate so look at it, it's, it's quite a code plug, isn't it? And when you first see these, I know you sort of go, oh my God, what am I going to do? I do. I do. Um, and then we have file, you can save what we just did, put that in documents for now, give it a name, UV88 for now, save. And um, you can open a file as well, read and write, port, English language, if, if it, boots up Chinese just there is there third tab along bottom one help about there's the software look okay now the RT4D just to show you out of interest see if I can quickly show you that if I can find it 4D that's this one here is it going to make me run the whole lot There it is there. Now this is the RT4D. This one is DMR. So the key difference here is that you've got zones and DMR contacts receive group lists. That's the key of contacts look. So it's virtually the same radio, but without, but with DMR. And that's why um, the RT4D is definitely something you should consider. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.